Hello scientists and welcome to day six of your online science learning. Well, did you figure out? We talked about how the maple seed traveled by wind, but what about the other two? If the sugar gum had all those spikes on it, it's because it actually gets displaced by sticking to the legs and the fur of animals as they walk by and then dropping somewhere else. But what about the fruit seeds? That one is kind of cool. That one actually gets displaced by digestion. So an animal will come along, eat the fruit, and then poop somewhere else. And the seeds will actually grow from that. Pretty cool, huh? So the focus of today's lesson is Earth's major systems. There are four of them, the biosphere, the hydrosphere, the geosphere, and the atmosphere. Without these four systems, Earth wouldn't exist as we know it. They help us survive and thrive, just like we talked about in our last lesson. So let's get out those science notebooks or a scratch piece of paper. And let's look at the four spheres. Sorry, I made the microphone make noise there. So the first one is the biosphere. Now, ask your parents if you can use a picture of you or them or a picture of maybe a pet at home. And I actually want you to cut that out and glue it in this square. Go outside. Can you find a leaf or maybe some grass? Glue that in that square as well. Bio means life in Greek and Latin. We talk about our Greek and Latin roots. If you know the Greek and Latin roots, it makes your life much easier. In the next square, let's see, Miss Clark, after bio, what do we go to? I think geosphere is next. Geosphere. In the geosphere, be artistic. Take some time, draw a mountain. Go outside, can you find some dirt or some sand? Glue it on there. When you hear me talk about dirt, sand, rocks, mountains, those are all things in the geosphere. Can you guess what geo means in Greek and Latin? It means earth. The next one is the hydrosphere. Now hydro means water. That can be in lakes and rivers. Draw some lakes, some rivers. But it can also be in other forms. Maybe it's ice in glaciers or in hail. Maybe it's rain. Be creative as artists and draw some different parts of the hydrosphere. And finally, we're going to go to the atmosphere. Now, atmo, when you translate it, actually means steam or vapor. This has to do with our atmosphere, our sky. It can also do wind, things like that. Be creative and enjoy drawing. Did you know that you interact with all four of these spheres every single day? That's right. Whenever you eat, drink, walk around, or breathe, you're interacting with all four spheres. We've been talking about drawing. I'd like you to go ahead and draw the self-portrait. But in your self-portrait, draw and label some ways that you're interacting with each of the four spheres. Good luck, and we'll see you tomorrow. And finally, take a look at the links at the bottom of the page. They'll continue to help you understand more about Earth's major systems. Bye, scientists.